Now, even though we're just getting back to typical October weather here the next couple of days, it could be a little bit of a shock because everything is relative, right? Last few days, we saw high temperatures in the 80s. We were breaking record high temperatures. Well, we'll get a drop into the 50s tomorrow, so uh, it's going to feel a little different, obviously. High temperature today was 79, but notice the timestamp underneath that. At lunchtime, we had a cold front go through around 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. The temperatures have been falling ever since then. Uh, the low so far today is 59 degrees, and that is our current temperature at BWI. The temperatures are going to continue to drop into the 40s overnight tonight. 55 in Catonsville, same thing in Westminster, 56 in Parkton. It's already down to 52 in Jarrettsville, and the winds are starting to kick up a little bit as well. I wouldn't call it windy just yet, but the wind speeds are going to increase overnight tonight, and especially as we head into tomorrow morning, I think the winds will start gusting over 30 miles per hour. Right now, they're gusting over 20. They just had a 21 mile per hour wind gust at BWI. So here's the weather map. Uh, the cold front that went through this afternoon is now pushing off the coast, and that cold air is obviously filtering in from the west. It's already down to 39 in Oakland out in western Maryland. It's not going to get that cold around Baltimore, like I said, 40s, but uh, you'll notice that difference. As far as precipitation goes, there's not a whole lot happening around the city at the present time, but we do expect the showers to pick up in coverage over the next few hours. There's an area of low pressure down here in, uh, near Norfolk, actually, that's starting to get organized, so that will increase the chance for rain, especially, I think, east of Baltimore overnight tonight. So the eastern shore county's best chance for rain overnight. And this is our future cast for 7.30 in the morning. You notice the uh, computer thinks there could be some leftover showers to start the day on Saturday. So it's going to be windy in the morning. There could be a couple of showers, and it's going to be a lot cooler. But I do think the sun's going to come out in the afternoon as a big storm pulls away to the uh, northeast, and we should wind up with some quiet weather to close the weekend on Sunday. So the forecast goes like this. Tonight, uh, mostly cloudy, breezy, cooler, off and on rain showers likely. Uh, the temperatures are going to drop into the 40s, but that's just normal for this time of the year. The normal low is 44. During the day tomorrow, a mixture of clouds and a little bit of sunshine. Windy in the morning, wind gusts over 30 miles per hour. Just a slight chance for a shower to start the day. The high temperatures in the upper 50s to around 60 degrees. Seven day forecast. Sunday we start chilly down into the upper 30s to around 40. And then we make it back to 65 in the afternoon. So a nice close to the weekend. Quiet weather Monday and Tuesday. It gets a little cool Tuesday, Wednesday, but not bad. The next chance for rain after tonight will be on Thursday.